now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with meteorologist Holden LaCroix. Tracking a cold front offshore, already starting to see some rain across the region. That's going to continue to spread inland overnight tonight and as we wake up for tomorrow morning. It's been a very impressive storm up north, but it is slowly but surely making its way toward the south and east. And that's eventually going to bring in some cooler temperatures for the rest of the week. And also there's rain chances as we head into the late evening hours and as we wake up tomorrow morning. Not a whole lot of rainfall, though, anywhere from a third to maybe up to a half inch of rain across the region. So not totally impressive but still very strong cold front. It's going to be out of here as we kind of head into Monday afternoon and even may see a few sun breaks as we head toward Tuesday morning. So all in all, it's mainly tonight through tomorrow morning. We are tracking a storm system as we kind of head toward the Tuesday Wednesday time frame, but that area of low pressure is kind of breaking away from the general flow and headed down across areas of California, bringing them some rain and snow while we tend to replace that with high pressure. So we're not expecting a washout for the Tuesday Wednesday time frame, but we are are expecting some of those showers to kind of drift from the south out of California as we head toward Wednesday morning. But eventually the second half of the week we get high pressure building across the northwest and we're actually tracking mainly sunny conditions for both Thursday Friday. That is also coupled with some cold mornings. We still are expecting a frosty start, so it's about time to grab the ice scraper once again as we kind of head toward the second half of the week. Here's the cold front passing over the region right now. You can see steady rain continuing overnight tonight. We are tracking some snow up across the passes, but I wouldn't expect anything more than possibly a half inch as we wake up tomorrow morning, dusting at best for both Sanium and Willamette Pass. But as we head toward the afternoon tomorrow, you can see cloudy but dry conditions. Those shower changes still will hold uh, south across southern Oregon if you're headed toward Jackson or Klamath counties for Monday afternoon. But watch area of low pressure. You can see it offshore. It kind of drifts into California and we get a lot of this moisture drifting north out of the north state. Believe it or not, as we head towards Tuesday afternoon, we're going to start to see some of those showers drift north, maybe even a little bit of mixing early in the day. But you can see just how high these snow levels are as we head towards Wednesday because we start to see some warmer air across the region again. This is very light shower activity coming in from the south, so we're not expecting a washout due to the nature of this area of low pressure kind of breaking away and moving toward the south. And you kind of see our pattern over the next week or so, which is mostly dry. We have that storm system moving into California Tuesday and into Wednesday, but then we're dry for Thursday, Friday, and that comes with mainly sunny conditions. We do have those changes on the horizon, though, and some models actually hint at a pretty active week as we head toward Thanksgiving week. So we're going to have to watch that closely, but it it does look like the moisture train could make a shift back north toward the northwest as we kind of head toward the second half of the month. Here's the cold front passing over the region now, but you can see the area of low pressure kind of pulling off to the south down across California. We do get some of those showers kind of drifting on the northern fringe of that, but for the most part, it's going to bring rain to northern southern California as we head toward the second half of the week, and that's going to force high pressure from the southwest up into the northwest, and that's why we're expecting mainly dry conditions. Here's a kind of better look at it. High pressure over the southwest right now. This low pressure is going to move down there kind of force this back up into our region and that's going to give us some sunny skies as we head towards Thursday, but it does not last for long and those rain chances will make a return as we head toward that second half of the week. Your seven day forecast for the coast 56 degrees Monday afternoon shower chances Tuesday and into Wednesday, but again, mainly a California system areas of Roseburg showers again Tuesday into Wednesday, sunny conditions for Thursday cloud cover starting to increase once again by Friday. Snow levels high shouldn't be too much of an issue for the Cascade passes, but Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be tracking some rain and snow across the region and for Eugene and Corvallis. We are expecting showers possibly Tuesday, Wednesday, but a cold, frosty start, but sunny as we head toward Thursday and Friday.